hello friends my name is Kishan in this video tutorial today I am going to discuss about the spring inner beans uh, I will create a project and uh, uh, I will show you how we can inject inner beans in configuration file so first of all uh, before creating project let's discuss what is inner beans so guys as you know java inner classes are defined within the scope of other java classes similarly inner beans are beans that are defined within the scope of another bean thus a bean element inside the property or constructor arc element is called inner bean so let's go ahead and create a java project give the project now spring inner bin project click next click on the finish now let's add a spring binaries so go to the con configure build path binary libraries add library user library and select this user library so all a spring greater jars I have added in my project class path now let's create one project sorry one class it's called package name com dot infotech dot model and class name I'm going to give employee this class can have some fields like private int employee id private string employee name private uh, string you can say mm, let's take another attribute as gender and finally one custom object I'm going to declare that is <coughs> pan card you can declare uh, this as okay no problem so here so pan card is another class you can create another class over here now in this employee class create setters and getters method so go to the source generates getters and setters select all fields click on ok so here is all set getters now we have a pan card here this model class can have few properties like private pan uh, holder name pan holder name uh, and that type would be string next property private string pan card itself pan number you can say and create setters and getters now let's create a, a xml file Give the name bins.xml. So here we need required a job uh, XML doc type. So it's, it's here. Now close the bins tag. Now here you can declare your bin first bin employee. And here you have a class name. So here qualified name of your class 
and this green has some property so let's configure all property property name value Now this this win has employee ID name ID you can give some dummy ID like this next property you have employee name Sudavama gender and we have one more property and that is custom data type this is pan card right so this also we need to configure so property name is equal to pan card but you cannot say value because this is a reference type so this another API is uh, sorry another attribute is ref so here you can say pan card and pan card we will have to define as another bean over here so again bean id equal to pan card and you need to specify the qualified name of the class so, so here is the qualified name of the class now these guys are few for party there are two property of this bin so first property is the pan holder name so pan holder name is again so the verma and we have a pan number So a specified pan number, just dummy pan number you can specify over here. Press Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl Shift F for formatting. Now let's create a client program over here. Package com dot info tape dot client. Give the client name as a test. So here you can create application context class path XML application context. Here we need to pass the configuration file name. Now application context has a get bin API. So there are a lot of get bin overloaded method. I'm going to use this one. It sticks first as the first argument as the bin ID, which is nothing but the employee, and second is the bin class itself. Dot class. This will return you employee object now if I print we can print the employee details get employee ID employee name employee gender and if, if and you can print pan card details as well so I'm going to employee dot get and details here you can display pan details as well name as well 
fan number. So we are almost done and finally you can close the context. Now let's run this application, right click, run a Java application. So we are getting some errors saying that invalid property pan holder name then employee. Okay, let me check out. So here sorry, these properties we were supposed to declare here in this pin because this property belong belongs to band card now let's run it now we get we got the uh, employees details as well as pan card details of this employee so here if you look into the configuration file then this is there are two spring beans one is the employee type another is the pan card type and uh, from here from this property it's just you are referring the external bin this is external bin right so here uh, suppose if you have uh, n number of wins in configuration file and su suppose employee uh, pan card bin is going to refer by the only employee bin in that case pan card bin you can make a you can declare as a uh, inner beans so so cut over here go to the inside the property and paste it over here and in that case you don't need to specify the ref attribute and even you don't need to specify id attribute id uh, that is depends on you whether you want to declare or not but you can remove id as well so this way you can declare inner beans so after this modification let's run this application cool it's working so whatever modification we have done that's fine so here what we have done inside the property we have declared another bin so a scope of this bin is within the uh, is a scope of external bin so uh, if you want to i mean access this bin outside of this outer bin then that is not possible at all so this is the an example of uh, inner beans in a spring framework so that's all i have in this video uh, see you in next video thank you so much guys